Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to figure out a frequency table in math. Now, more often than not, when it comes to analyzing frequency tables, the one thing you want to keep in mind is the table is often set up using two columns. The one on the left typically is the data point. Now, the data point, more often than not, is labeled x, but it doesn't have to be, but x is one of the more popularly used variables for data points. And then the next column is the frequency. So depending on what kind of data that you have, a frequency table just basically outlines the various data points and how often each data point occurs. So for example, just a brief demonstration, if you have, let's just say, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 8, and then the 9, the idea here is, well, there's four different data points. So you have 6, 7, 8, and 9, and then you simply write how many times each one shows up. So you only see one 6, so the frequency of 6 is 1. You see two 7s, so the frequency of 7 is 2. You see three 8s, so frequency is 3, and then one 9, so frequency of 1. So when it comes to figuring out a frequency table, all you need to do for the most part is to look at the data points that you have and then uh, figure out how many uh, of each that you see, and then that basically tells you how to read a frequency table. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief uh, demonstration on how to figure out a frequency table.